Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Libra. With the lovers and the reverse, somebody could have actually done like a breakup or separation spell or come back to me spell or something like that. Don't really want to get too much into magic, but I do feel like there was some kind of spell work here because somebody has been working with some kind of like metaphysical property, alchemy, something here for sure. The six of wands is here, the king of swords, the high priestess, and the two of cups. This king of swords is for some a truth teller being right next to the high priestess and the two of cups. With the Six of Wands, somebody here is speaking out and saying that there is a connection here that is successful. The Ace of Swords and then the Hermit card. Somebody here is hearing or seeing, getting some kind of information. They could be reading tarot. There's some kind of divination spying here. And somebody, I feel that whenever they get this confirmation about a particular relationship or for some of you, this could even be somebody... I'm picking it up, so I'm going to say it. Somebody could be doing spell work, okay? With the spell work, they're monitoring the results. And what they're saying is that something here that they were hoping was going to move forward, whether it was a spiritual attack or that they was hoping somebody would come back, somebody is realizing that their spell work is not working. The lovers is in the reverse and the chariot is in the reverse, Okay, so somebody, it was as above, so below. Somebody felt like if they went into the spirit and tried to break up a relationship, that they were going to actually see the separation happen here in the 3D. But what you see in between the lovers in the reverse and the chariot in the reverse, which was obviously someone was hoping that moving forward, there would be a connection that would not actually last or it wouldn't come together. What somebody is seeing here. In, in the middle of all of this chaos, this conflict, drama, spell work, whatever, is that in actuality, somebody is experiencing victory and success. You have the king of swords here and the high priestess. This could actually be the two lovers here. This king of swords and this high priestess. So this king of swords could work very closely with Archangel Michael. This person is a truth teller. They know how to see or sense or feel and know the truth in situations. This also could be someone who knows how to call on spiritual judgment in certain situations. And then the high priestess. Yeah, this is the couple here. This king of swords and this high priestess. It could be a Libra, a Libra and a Pisces. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, high priestess. A high priestess could be any sign. Okay, but... One person is very logical. One person is very spiritual, perhaps. These two people are in the spirit. They're actually toasting to their brand new beginning, to this partnership, this relationship. Yeah, Ace of Swords, that's the truth. And whoever has been in the background, possibly a Virgo, who has been in the background, for sure, like hoping that this does not move forward, they're sick about it right now because they're like, oh my goodness. They did all of this and it's still... It didn't block some type of connection here. You could have a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Feminine that's involved in this situation. The Queen of Wands, the Fool, the Sun, the Tower, the Three of Swords. Yeah. See, this Queen of Wands here decided to take some kind of leap of faith in hopes of having wish fulfillment. And it was quickly shot down the Tower and the Three of Swords. Yeah. The Wheel of Fortune is here, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. Somebody here was hoping that the offer that someone was going to make, that it was going to, it it, it wasn't going to be accepted. Somebody also was hoping that a person was going to um, not make an offer to another person, but instead make it to them. I don't know. This could be someone that from your past, for some of you, okay, maybe if, if a person has you know, had plans to come towards you. They could have someone in their life that is doing a lot to try to stop them from coming towards you. Somebody literally thought that they were going to be able to stop a person from making an offer to you and instead make that person make the offer to them. And they've been doing something spiritually to try to redirect somebody's energy so that they would receive an offer. The Six of Cups is here. So this could for sure be someone from the past, okay? Whether this is someone from your past or someone you're currently dealing with, there is a, for, for many of you, there, and, and this has been coming out, honey, every day for the last, like, two weeks. 
you have for some, I have three cards of Leo out here, the Queen of Wands, the Sun, and the Strength card. There could be a Leo out here somewhere that this person is hoping that somebody closes a door with you and opens up a door and goes on a new path and has a new beginning with them. I don't know if this person wants someone to marry them or what, but the main thing they're trying to do is they're trying to get this divine feminine out of the way. But see, this divine feminine is a high priestess. So when this person goes to spiritually attack you or whatever, you're automatically protected. This person could be working with some kind of dark high priest or high priestess as well to try to get information. If you're dealing with this masculine right now, they have an ex that is like very much obsessed. And this person has become obsessed with spell work. The Wheel of Fortune is here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. This backfired. Three of Wands. <laughs> Somebody is coming in with this offer. Just period. Seven of Wands. Yeah. It backfired. You were protected from whatever this illusion or confusion is. And now this person is sitting somewhere and they are very much disappointed because they're stuck. They're stuck. And what happened is now... Whoever they've been trying to spiritually attack has awakened and become aware of what they're doing. And they're still taking an offer to, to the divine feminine and putting a total end to this connection with them. These two people may not even be together, but it's like the more that this person sends out these spiritual attacks, they make this person literally like hate them to the point that it's like this person, they're sick to their stomach about this individual. here and talking to the moon <laughs> this person may do moon magic i'm so sick of this person i'm, I'm really tired whoever this this leo person is that's been coming out of these readings i mean every single day for the last two weeks I'm not even going to say. Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. Please. I'm just tired of this person, y'all. <laughs> what I say? Talking to the look at the moon. Ace of Wands. This person here, they get so passionate about new moons. New moons and full moons. This person, honey, listen. They get all their tools out. Their, their spell book. Okay, they get their spell book out. They start playing their music, lighting their candles. This person is outside. Listen, this person is a witch. Okay, this is a real witch. This person goes out and they talk and connect with the elements somehow. And what they keep saying is that this masculine is going towards this queen of cups that they want to move forward with. To have the Ten of Pentacles with. They want to make a generous offer to this person. They keep seeing that this like this person keeps doing is divination spying. And every time they see the same thing. I don't like I cannot seem to I can't understand this. This person literally every single time they do a reading, every single time they burn a candle, whatever magic they're doing, they see the same thing every time, which is that this person is going towards this feminine. And they're like, wait a minute, stop. Don't do it. But I feel that there's a pattern here. I've been saying this for the last for two weeks. There's a pattern of destruction here that somebody can see. For some of you, it's like every single moon cycle, you and this you and your your significant other, you're arguing. You you should recognize by now, like. There's some kind of illusion. There's some type of chaos, conflict. Something is happening like every single moon cycle. And I said the other day, for some of you, you shouldn't react or respond to anything. Especially if it's like a full moon, new moon, new moon, and you feel yourself just like wanting to be in this chaotic energy with people around you. You should really, really temper yourself. This is spell work. Like 100%. Somebody looks into your, your life. Or they get a reading or whatever it is that they're doing. And when they see that, wow, okay, so this person is still going towards them with the offer. Let me block it. 
Let me send some chaos. Let me make them argue with each other this weekend. Like, that's how this person thinks. Like I said, it's, it's sickening to the stomach because it's so low vibrational and pathetic. This person is really sick and twisted in the mind to do this over and over and over. This person gets very, very excited about spell work. Very excited. Like, they love doing this. This person will sit outside for hours. It's just, this person has Leo and Scorpio in their chart. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra. Something about those signs, Aquarius. There's a Scorpio out here, there's an Aquarius. Somebody has a uh, Something is heavy here about an Aquarius and a Scorpio and Leo. Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Pisces. I feel like somebody has all these things in their chart. Something about the elements. Somebody may have all four elements in their chart. Like somebody may have a chart of... Um, Somebody could be an Aquarius, Pisces, Cusper. Somebody has Libra. Like, somebody is like a Libra rising or something. Libra is in a very significant placement in somebody's chart. I am so sorry to everybody watching. Y'all, I forgot that I had my little heater on. Like, I literally, I'm so sorry if it's like, if it was loud. I just turned it off. I just realized... When I stop for a moment to be quiet, I'm like, what is that noise? <laughs> I'm a little heater on blowing on my feet. Sorry. I don't know. This Leo is shape shifting some way. Some way, somehow. I don't know. It, like, I just, I keep, is this really a Leo? Because this person comes out every reading. Is this really a Leo? Or is this, is this person a Virgo? I mean, it's different for everybody, but this same energy comes out every reading. And this person does spell work. It's a witch. The world. And the king of pentacles. And here's the queen of pentacles. Somebody just does not want something to end with them. <sighs> the Page of Swords, Three of Cups, Eight of Wands. So somebody is going online to spy on a person to see if they're celebrating with somebody or communicating with someone. Are they taking an offer to this person? Somebody is doing, like, this, y'all don't understand, this person, this is very systematic and methodical. Like, this person has a routine. Whenever they want to know about somebody's love, like, they go, I feel like this person, like, they're hacking devices. They're going on somebody's social media pages. They could be going to friends and family, but there's a lot of spiritual spying here. Somebody is like, they need to know who is a person celebrating with, what are they doing, how are they doing it. And it's always, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. There's always two different people. It's a, it's a, a earth sign masculine, heavy Taurus, and a feminine Queen of Wands, Heavy Leo. I don't know if these two people are in a relationship and they are attacking a divine feminine's relationship with somebody 
or I don't know if there is like a twin flame couple out here and one of you is connected to this king of pentacles and one of you is connected to this queen of wands. I don't know if these are two people who don't know each other or if this is a couple. But this queen of wands and this king of pentacles person, they come out in every read. I don't know what this is. This is like some kind of spiritual third party situation that it needs to be broken. Is this a couple? It's just like, you gotta ask yourself, why would this couple be constantly trying to attack somebody else's relationship? Why aren't they focused on their own relationship? That's why for me, it's so hard for me to grasp the idea that this is a, cu a couple. It does come out from time to time, but it's like, somebody is trying to stop a masculine from connecting with the divine feminine, but it's like they both want to connect with this divine feminine, but now they're trying to stop the divine feminine from being in a relationship at all. It's Queen of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. This divine feminine has their guard up and is trying to mind their business. So divine feminine, you may have walked away from this Taurus. And this Taurus is collaborating with a group of people. Justice is being served, though, with the moon, eight of swords, ten of wands, something that they've been doing under the moon, moon cycles. Y'all, please tell me in the comments, for, for those of you who resonate with this, is this a couple attacking you or is this your ex attacking you, your new connections, and you're connected to somebody who has an ex that's also attacking your connections? Or, or is it both situations? Maybe some of you can resonate with the couple situation and others. You resonate with just like, your relationship being under attack by ex, your ex and your person's ex. Let me know, cause I'm, I'm seeing both situations. I, maybe, maybe I'm just meant to see both, to channel both for you guys. I don't know, but I would like to know the majority of you. What's going on? Cause Lord knows, I'm so tired of reading this every day. Seven of Swords, Four of Swords. This trickery is will make you restless. I feel like for some of you right now, the best thing for you to do is to rest. Justice is being served in this situation, whether you know it or not, or you even believe it or not. Justice is being served in this situation. There's not really much for you to do. It's like this trash is going to take itself out. Four of Cups. Somebody is is disappointed. So this is this right now, we're reading this masculine for sure. This person keeps on trying to project in somehow or project some type of energy so that you will stay stuck and bound. So this is definitely a karmic masculine. But my thing is, is this karmic masculine connected to this, this witch? Let's see. Let's Tell me about this queen of wands. Or it could be a situation, because we've seen this too, where this queen of wands is doing spell work on this king of pentacles if they're in a relationship, but the king of pentacles is doing spell work to try to get a divine feminine bag. It's some kind of domino effect here. It's even interesting how I laid the cards out. All these different situations are separate, but they're somehow connected. It's like you have a masculine that's trying to do spell work to keep a feminine stuck and bound to them. They're projecting, astral traveling, doing whatever they're doing. But they have this this feminine, this 
Leo possibly, Queen of Wands, that's doing spell work on them so that they won't actually go towards the divine. So it's like all this, like, all this spell work is going out and it's like It, you know what's so crazy? It almost, if this is a couple, this witch, their spell work is like canceling out the spell work that this masculine is doing. You get what I'm saying? Like the masculine is trying to do spell work to get the divine feminine to come back or to be stuck. But because they have this karmic feminine that's doing spell work on them to make them stay with them or come back. It, it's not sticking. And I feel like for some of you, that's the reason why it makes sense. Spirit is like, don't worry about it. Because these two people are doing spell work on you, but their spell work is kept like... This could be two people who are in the same household doing spell work. The work that they're doing because they're both doing, it's like canceling their work out. I really hope that makes sense. So it's almost like like this, I'm getting like this peeping Tom, like this karmic feminine may know that the, the masculine is doing work on the divine feminine. So they're doing work to block the masculine's energy. Or the other way around, or the masculine knows that the karmic feminine is doing magic on the divine feminine. And they're I, I, like, I don't feel like this masculine is really trying to protect the divine feminine. I mean, they want to keep divine feminine to themselves some way, but it feels like, like they're these people are grimy. They're doing like they don't they'll do whatever it takes. Ace of Cups is here. to me. Seven of Pentacles. Page of Cups. I'm telling you like I'm trying so hard to figure this out. This is like it's been coming out for months but it's something here that I'm just missing because the same story keeps coming out. The same story keeps coming out because they keep doing this same spell work. Yeah. But it's something here that it I, I feel like I'm not getting something right. There has to there has to be the reason why this keeps coming out and it's not making sense. I'm I feel like I'm not getting something. Something here is hidden. And and I, I'll be honest, I've asked myself, is this masculine trying to protect the divine feminine from this karmic magic? But my thing is. Well, how much sense does it make for you to be in a house with a person that's doing spell work on a person that you claim to love to the point where you have to go and do protection magic to stop their spell work from hitting somebody that's on the outside of your home that you care about? I don't feel like that's the case. <laughs> this, I mean, that just sounds completely stupid. So <laughs> you're, you're telling me that you're, you're in a house with a person that is this wicked. No, this is not. This masculine isn't trying to protect anybody. This masculine, if anything, they're trying to get away from this karmic feminine to go towards this divine feminine, and they're constantly being stuck and trapped by this karmic feminine. But what I don't understand is. These people are doing spell work, not just, if this is a couple, if this is one particular feminine that's doing spell work on a, on a divine feminine because of a masculine, they are trying to stop all love from coming towards this feminine. Like this person could, could realize that, okay, they've already blocked this masculine from coming in, but it's like they're trying to attack even new relationships. <laughs> That's something that's also could be like, why are you worried about? I thought you were only worried about keeping this one masculine to yourself. But this person's like, no, they don't want this divine feminine to be with anybody.
and that it's very hard to tell if that's coming from this karmic feminine or from this karmic masculine. Like I said, this is two people. This magic is one thing I was. This magic is coming from the same place. So I can't tell what are the intentions of these two people. They have different motives for doing this. And this reminds me of a reading I've done before where it's like there could be a masculine who is sleeping with somebody that they know do spell work. And they think that this is like a witch and a warlock. Like this masculine is like, yeah, 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 you know, let's do spell work together on Divine Feminine. But this person still loves Divine Feminine. That's why it's not working. It's not, it's an emotion here that is transmuting this spell work. And I think that the, I think I, I think I see what's going on. Somebody is doing spell work, claiming that it's out of hatred, but they act, but what's underneath it all is actually like love admiration or something. That's why it's not working. Y'all, do you get what I'm saying? Like somebody's like, I can't stand that person. You know, do a spell or whatever they're doing. But really, somebody here loves the person that they're doing spell work on. This karmic feminine could, could be telling themselves that they hate this divine feminine. It actually, they're like, man, I wish I could be divine feminist friend. So their spell work is like it's like an auto cancel, cancel. It's canceling itself out. Or this masculine is like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess divine feminine's life up or whatever. It doesn't work because you would need to channel, I guess, some really dark, nasty, hateful energy. This person don't really hate divine feminine. They don't. That's why the spell work is not working. Whoever is doing this, it's not working because somebody here still loves a person. Or the person that they're doing it to is just so high vibrational that, I mean, we know that it's, it's bouncing everything off. But still, like, the people that are doing this, something about their motives, their intentions, or their emotional state is not allowing this to go through. Which is why I'm assuming they have to keep doing it. I don't know. Like, I, to be honest, I don't know. And this this storyline is getting on my nerves so bad. I'm so sick and tired of it. Like, truly. Because I can't figure I don't know. Hell, at this point, I want to know why isn't the spell work working? I mean, I know, like, okay, Divine Feminine is super, super protected. But it's something about these people's energy that's not allowing this to work that is causing it to have to be repeated over and over and over and over again. They do this, y'all, I'm telling you, they do this every single moon. This is like somebody doing an altar. Well, these people, I'm, somebody has like an altar set up for just you. <laughs> Seriously. So I'm trying to figure out if you've been doing this for some people, for like a year or more, why has it not worked? It doesn't make sense. Y'all tell me, especially those of you who, you know, perhaps dabble in spell work and you know how you really don't have I can read the energy but if you really don't have to tell me why why is this not why do they have to keep doing this I don't I don't know I mean you know I hear people talk about spell work and stuff like that but again like I said if this is a couple what I'm assuming is whoever is doing this spell work they don't have the right energy for it to actually be successful. Either they're, they're trying to do this out of malice, spite, hatred, 
and they secretly love the person, yeah, I don't know. King of Cups. I told you it's a Scorpio right here. But this Scorpio, like, he's looking out. He's watching. Or is this somebody else watching? Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We may be getting somewhere now. So this could be another masculine. Let me see. This could be another masculine that's protecting this divine feminine. Oh. King of Cups, Queen of Cups came out together. Knight of Pentacles. Whoa. I feel like this King and Queen of Cups this Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of um, Ten of Cups. This is this connection here. So, is somebody trying to break up a connection that has already come into union? Is that why this isn't working? Something has happened spiritually or energetically where it's like the magic is not working. And the very first card out is the star card. Something has already been written in the stars. The lovers, there's a, a spiritual contract that's over. Somebody is already in union with somebody. That's why these breakup separation spells, that's why it's not working. So whether this is a couple doing this to a divine feminine or masculine, it's not working. Or even if it is this queen and king of cups who are receiving this offer from the most high God to have this ten of cups, even if it's their ex is doing this, it's not. Wow, this union has already taken place. That's why. That's why it's not working. Dang, somebody has been in union with somebody for a while. I don't know if this is a physical union, but again, as above, so below. Somebody already has a new spiritual contract. And I mean, it's, it's, it's locked in. It's solid. You cannot, like, there's nothing that can penetrate this connection. That's why it's not working. Yeah, these people at this point, they, <laughs> I don't know what moon they talking to. Because it's not working. Man, I was like, Spirit, please tell me what's going on. Spirit said, it's because somebody's already in union. This king and queen of cups here, they've already gotten the offer. From, from God, literally. The will of fortune, they've already gotten their papers. <laughs> They've already got a spiritual contract. The shift has already come. So these people have already shifted into a new, a new level, a new time. Shh. Four wands. They're already in union. Well, there you have it. That's why. These people are working overtime. I'm trying. You can't break it up. You can't. It, it has already happened. Wow. <laughs> Y'all was about to get mad. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe that's too why somebody feels like sick to their stomach. Like, why isn't this working? Because that's how I was feeling. Like, I want to like at some point, because I don't see the spell work. It doesn't work. So I'm like, what is what's wrong? Like, <laughs> I'm asking, what is wrong with y'all, Mister Witch, Mister Warlock? What is? Are you getting rusty with your skills? What's the problem? They can't do it. Look. <laughs> That is okay. That's amazing. These people are already in union. That's why it's not working.
which makes sense. Yeah, the judgment da, 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 makes sense because, like I said before, ah, think about it. There's a connection here that's already over the lover. Somebody has already gone into a victorious, successful relationship with someone else. It's this King of Swords and High Priestess. There, you can't mess with them in the spirit. This person embodies the energy of like Archangel Michael. They're a truth teller. They're a spirit. Like this person is a judge. And then they, you have an intuitive here, a high priestess. So you have like a, like Archangel Michael and a, and a high priestess out here and an earth angel. And these two people, they're already toasting to the good life in the spirit. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Somebody has already been kicked out of a person's energy. That's the reason why everything they do, the chariot, there's no movement here in what these people are doing. There's a there's a karmic contract here that's over. And somebody, <laughs> somebody just keeps doing magic, like, break it up, break it up. Like, you're doing this for no reason. And that's, again, that's why I see this inside with the justice card. Eight of Swords, Ten of Wands. Somebody is is like bound already. The Moon and the Justice. Something has been balanced out. Seven of Swords. That's why Spirit is like, child, just go to bed, just rest. Cause somebody is like sitting around, like, what do you mean? Like somebody keeps trying to astral travel or project towards you or send some kind of energy, and they're like, I, I feel like that's why I was getting for this masculine. It's, it's like, why is this not working? I mean, this person, why can't I connect with divine feminine? Divine feminine is already in union. It's over. Yeah. Death and the Six of Cups. There was a door that closed and a new door has opened. Death to the past is over. A new door is open. Somebody had the strength to finally close the door to their past. Some of you have closed down telepathy or some kind of soul gate access point or portal that this person kept trying to come through, it was allowing this magic or whatever to happen. Some of you, somebody definitely was like astral traveling and projecting towards you. They were playing with you in the spirit. You've shut that down because now you you got to be faithful and committed to this person that you are, that you're in a union with. You you not dancing any more jigs with this uh person from your past in the spirit realm anymore. You can't you can't talk to them. Not with this King of Swords, King of Cups. This King of Swords can read your thoughts and they can see everything. I keep telling y'all, some of y'all, it's a divine masculine out here that's a, a, a very, very powerful psychic. I don't know if you know this person, and if you do know that, I don't know if they told you about these gifts they have, but um, you can't get anything around this person or past them. And, and the way you and this person work together is the high priestess. You can see things. This king of swords will call judgment on it. You may see it, you may sense it, you may feel it, but once they feel you, they call judgment. They take their sword out. See, you see it. They walk around with the sword. They're like, say, so somebody was attacking you last night? Okay, don't worry about it. You won't see them anymore. That's, they, that's, that's the energy. <laughs> this person, like, everyone, like, so how did you sleep last night? Oh, I was tossing and turning. Oh, really? The next night, they in the spirit. Hmm. Let me see who had Divine Feminine up last night. Oh, and they walk around with their sword at all times. That's why this is not working. Somebody got a real one. This warlock masculine, they can't do nothing with this uh, Archangel Michael energy out here. They can't. Yeah. Yeah. I was getting so mad. <laughs> Let's see what this is. The, the Empress. <laughs> oh the Empress and the Empress. 
confirmation. King of Wands, this is your warlock right here. Baby, this spell work is backfired and they are out in the cold. <laughs> this warlock is like, what? Yes, maybe somebody is in you. You're going towards the Ten of Pentacles. You got the Emperor and the Empress here. This warlock is just like, hold on. The Five of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Do you see this? This person is like, uh-uh. I'm trying to get in. I'm trying to get in. They can't. <laughs> that was twice. The Queen and King of Cups came out together. And now the Emperor and the Empress came out together with the Ten of Pentacles. Baby, this carving masculine cannot do anything with this new masculine. Or if you have a new person in your life and your past person is your, whoever your divine masculine is, they are, they can't be touched. Oh my goodness, talk about a confirmation. Y'all saw me, I was getting frustrated. I was like, Spirit, what am I not seeing? Like, man, Spirit was about to have a real, we was gonna have, to have us a real one-on-one -on -one after this. I was like, I'm not seeing something. Makes sense. And, and people, they don't want, they don't want people to see this connection. I'm, 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 I'm picking up on this man, this divine masculine that was just like, yeah. This person does not play. This person's like, yeah, they don't need to see me. Because I'm telling you, this person walks around with a sword at all times. It's like, y'all don't need to be checking about me and my divine feminine. Don't worry about what we're doing. Because if you mess with her, and if you messing with her, you messing with me. When you see her, you see me, and I'll carry a sword. This person's like, yeah, divine feminine. She likes to sit on, you know, reading her tarot cards and crystal balls and all of that. They, he like, uh, uh. I shoot first and ask questions later. <laughs> this like, I don't need. I don't need to see it. If divine feminine saw it, that's enough. Later, you just like, yep. <laughs> let's go out on a date. Let's let's talk. <laughs> Last night, y'all was slaying people. My goodness, this is so funny to me. There you have it. The devil. The devil keeps on trying to come in and cause chaos. Doesn't want you to have peace, but you get away every single time. Man, I'm telling you. Goodness. And whoever this masculine is, the karmic masculine that's doing the spell work, they're working with other people. You have this Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. They're working, maybe they're working with this Virgo. You have Leo, Virgo, Cancer. Cancer, Virgo, Leo, this Queen of Pentacles could be Virgo or Capricorn. But you have a Leo. Somebody could, could have Leo and Virgo on their chart. Or they're on the cusp of Leo and Virgo. But then there's an older woman out here too. So this person, this could be a masculine. It's like they have a wife or girlfriend that does spell work with their mom. Or this masculine, like they have a mom and a sister that does spell work or something like that. Honey, it's not working. Whoever's doing the spell work, it's not working. And they've been doing it for a long time. It's not working. <laughs> the mom family is sitting down just as chill, cool, calm, collected, pretty. Totally emotionally balanced. Just, I'm telling you, this, whoever, listen, y'all, whoever this king of cups is, king of swords that's in your energy, this person is keeping you balanced. You like, do y'all know who this is? I mean, it could be like a spirit guide for some of you. It could be a spirit guide. An angel of ancestor. I mean, it could just be, it could be Archangel Michael, to be honest. So if if it's not your masculine. Because the way I'm saying that, if this King of Swords, if this is not your masculine high priestess, this is Archangel Michael. 
Archangel Michael works very closely with, with you to protect you and this masculine. So Archangel Michael probably knows that like, yeah, you have a connection with this divine masculine. Archangel Michael is protecting you. That's that's really what I'm getting now. Archangel Michael is keeping this karmic masculine out every single time they try you. But I feel like your masculine is also very much connected to Archangel Michael. Your Archangel Michael is protecting you and this masculine. So this high, you could be a high priestess and maybe you work, like I said, with Archangel Michael. So every time this King of Wands person comes in, this warlock tries to attack you, Archangel Michael is like, nope. Oh, it's you again. Nope. Because Archangel Michael already knows that you're in union with somebody. Wow. Yeah, you're in union. This King and Queen of Cups. And so it makes sense because if you're a high priestess, if you are praying and protecting yourself, your prayers are reaching your person. King and Queen of Cups. You and this person have a psychic connection, an emotional connection. So when you pray for yourself, it's, it's, it's protecting them too. So you're like, Archangel Michael, protect me and my loved ones. Well, since you're in a spiritual contract with this person, they're protected. So whenever these warlocks or whomever, so if this is like your path, and think about it, think about this too. You have the King of Wands that's showing up that keeps trying to attack you, Divine Feminine. But remember, we keep picking up on this Queen of Wands. Archangel Michael is just like kicking everybody out of you and your counterparts energy. Whether this is a couple attacking you, whether it's family members or both of you have an ex. Archangel Michael is like, I'm going to stand here and protect this union. Nobody's getting in it to, to try to break it up. And that's just that. It, it doesn't even matter anymore. The logistics, the, the specifics or any of that. Archangel, this is Archangel Michael. This is a high priestess that works very close. And you wanted justice in this situation. You you prayed and asked that this karmic contract would be um, ended. And it, it's, it's over. It's over. Now you have a new contract. And it's it's very, very much protected. So you don't have anything worth. That's why I was saying. Rest. Get your sleep at night. You have around the clock protection. Yeah. These people, they can't, they can't, um, they can't attack you or your person. Yeah, the Ten of Wands and the Magician. Somebody has been doing magic to try to create burdens for you. It's not working. You're, you're always protected. Anything else? Let's see. Wow. And this new, this masculine, they're favored in the eyes of, of of God and Archangel Michael. That's why they're so protected. They have their vibrational match for you. That's why. The two of swords. It came out in the reverse, though. So because it came out in the reverse. That means that you're no longer indecisive. You finally made up your mind about something. Some of you, there was there was a period where you were heavily manipulated though. And that's why you were so indecisive. You know the truth now. Or you're about to figure out or find out the truth. No more delays. Yeah, the page of cups. It's an offer coming in. Look at that, the emperor. I'm not gonna take it though. So many cards came out. You have here the five of pentacles and the fool in the reverse. You have an emperor that was impulsive. They tried to abuse their power. Yeah, the moon. This person was hiding. For some of you, you have a person that's actually married. Yeah, this is so it is a couple. This person is married. They tried to take action against you so that you would experience some type of failure. They quickly, yeah, knocked down real quick. 
Yeah, this person, that's why the four of wands is here. This person keeps trying to hide the fact that they're married. The fool. This was very foolish of them to keep doing this spell work. The moon is here with the four of wands. This person, for some reason, they keep dreaming about being with you, but they're already stuck somewhere else. So they spiritually attack you from time to time. So that you will be disappointed. You will have some kind of crisis in your life and feel defeated and disappointed. This is no longer working. Archangel Michael has stepped in and you've done the healing work. On your spiritual journey, you've made a very, very um, close connection with your, your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. And the spirit is not, it's not just Archangel Michael because I'm telling you, somebody is listening to this reading and they're like, oh, we're, we're going to go and, and block this person's connection to Archangel Michael. Let me tell you, you can try it. You can try it if you want to. Archangel Michael isn't the only person that's prote protecting this divine feminine. You won't get your heart broken if you keep on trying to play around with this person's um, protection. Your heart may just stop. Knight of Wands in the reverse. Somebody here keeps on being... The Knight of Wands in the reverse is somebody being very competitive, very egotistical. This person is insecure. This person is very insecure. And have the nerve to be competing with somebody. You can keep on trying to block or delay something or spiritual attacks. I'm telling you, you're going to get your heart broken, shattered. Somebody feels like their heart is already broken, though, because you're celebrating elsewhere. Oh, well. How, how can you be mad that you married? The high priestess. I'm going to leave it there. The high priestess and the freaking temperance here with the six of pentacles. <laughs> and this emperor who is married four wands is about to experience a tower because they keep trying to stalk and spy on you. Nine of wands. This person's access to you has been denied. And they keep on doing some type of ritual to spiritually stalk you and spy on you in hopes that they can somehow take action towards you. This person wants to travel towards you. Okay, and they're hoping that they could have some kind of new beginning, but they keep being left out in the cold because you already have new love. And you know that this person, Two of Pentacles, they keep juggling you. They disappointed you time and time again. Therefore, you moved on to peaceful, calmer waters. Ace of Wands, you have a brand new passion, new beginning, Nine of Cups, and it's wish fulfillment. Yes, Knight of Cups coming in with the Queen and King of Swords. You and your person both. You have your swords up. 